my name is Lena. Uh, I am 20 years old. I am a student. I study economic and regional development at Pantheon University in Greece. I am in my third year. I'm almost done. And uh, I'm going to talk to you about uh, the three stories I chose for this project and my artwork. My first story is called Why Dad Why? And it's about child abuse. For this story, I created the artwork called A Child's Toy. That's what I named it. And it depicts a child sitting on the floor holding a doll and a teddy bear. And the doll is discarded, it's destroyed in a sense, which means that the child feels this way about herself. It's a psychological fact I knew about abused children, that if they are abused themselves, they also abuse their toys. And I wanted to show that because not many people know it. And that's how the idea came to be. I used oil pastels to make this artwork because kids use them often when they paint and they draw. And I wanted to give a childlike vibe, I feel. And I used a lot of colors to make this uh, playful, joyful painting when in fact it's pretty dark and uh, disturbing. The theme is disturbing. So I made a contrast there. Um, that's about it about this, the first story. second story it's called darkness and my artwork all is also called darkness i chose to leave the same name i think it fits perfectly and it is a three piece painting it's three canvases three long ones and in the two side ones there is a face a female face sliced in half and in the middle one, there is a well, a very dark, deep well. And in the bottom, there is a woman or a person uh, sinking in water or quicksand or whatever you want to call it. Um, I remember there was a very vivid description about this one on the story that I read that helped a lot because that's how I got the idea. The person writing the story was very detailed. The things they said were very dark and it helped me a lot to come up with this idea. So I just gave an image to what they said and I created uh, this well in the middle because I wanted to show that it is inside their mind, inside the two faces that are split open. The light comes from above, which means there is hope uh, in the middle part. And in the two side parts, there is the light above and the light within. There's a blue light that comes from the darkness deep inside the two sides. And that means that, yes, there is hope, but the person needs to let the light from within them shine so that they can reach it. No one can help them all the way, at least. And they have to try, they have to climb through that well and reach the light. It's hard. It's really hard, especially when you're sinking into darkness, like the person said. 
but there's hope. There's a light at the end of the tunnel, as they say. Um, I didn't have to put much effort in this one. The story was so vivid, the description was so vivid from the person. I just painted what they said. That's all. For my third story, I chose Old Age and Loneliness. Uh, it was, this one was about an old man from Albania who felt very lonely because he could not see his kids. His uh, wife passed away. He could not communicate well with his grandchildren. He didn't know them at all, some of them. And the only way they gave him to communicate with him was a tablet that he could not use. That was very sad. Um, so he felt disconnected. That's why I named uh, this artwork Disconnect, because the only way he had to connect to any family he had at all was something that he could not use, something of digital making. He was alone completely. That's why I chose to depict him sitting in his, on his sofa in a dark room, a cold room. And in the middle, there is a hologram of his child, grandchild, it could be anything, a young boy uh, that he can kind of see in a digital form, not an actual form, but he could not touch. He could not speak to the child, he could not touch the child. He can only see a cold, distant, digital form of the child. It's not, it's not a warm image that you would expect from a grandfather with a grandchild. It's something unnatural, cold, distant, like I said. And I wanted to show how that man feels because he can see his loved ones in a sense, but he cannot touch them or speak to them. I think that's, what, that's how he feels. And I think that's how many people feel now with the pandemic, especially old people that cannot uh, handle digital devices, not that well, especially if they live alone because he said his wife passed away. So he basically has no one and that's about it.